Now we're starting a new topic called number patterns. Now what a number pattern is, is a set of, or it's a, a, a pattern of numbers that follow a predictable rule. So that I can be able to, if they don't give me the whole pattern, I can complete the pattern by just following the rule. So one, four, seven, can you see the rule? Well, it seems that each time I'm just adding three. Okay, so the next one will be 10. And the next one will be 13. And then 16. So I can continue with this and find any number in this um, pattern. Now, another word for number pattern is sequences. Okay, sequence of numbers. And this is actually the words that we are going to be using. Okay, a sequence. Now, in a sequence, there are th uh, four things that we're going to look out for. The first thing we're going to look at is the term value. Okay, the term value. Now, term value is this value that we find in a certain position. So, for example, the second term is 4. And term value, we use a TN or a T2 is equal to 4, which just means that the second term is equal to 4. Or, uh, what do we have? Uh, T5. T5 is the fifth term. So this is the notation that we're going to use. So one, two, three, four, five. The fifth, fifth term is equal to 13. That's the first thing that we have when we look at uh, any sequence. The next thing we have is the term number. Okay, let me just get that term number. Now term number is the position of a certain term. So for example, if the term value is 4, the term number is 2. Okay, and we use an n to indicate that. So um, n is the term number. So n4 would be the fourth term. 1, 2, 3, fourth term. This is the fourth term. It's a term number. Next thing we have is an identifier. Now, the identifier is to identify what type of uh, number pattern are we dealing with. So, for example, we get three type of number patterns uh, that we're going to work off with. Uh, there's the arithmetic, the arithmetic, and this type of number pattern has a constant difference. That is its identifier is a constant difference okay so in other words between consecutive terms difference like this one was an example of an arithmetic sequence because there's a constant difference in other words if I take 4 and I subtract 1 from it I get the answer 3 if I take 7 and I subtract 4, I get the answer 3. So for uh, the arithmetic sequence, we have a constant difference. And uh, we use a D to indicate the constant difference. So D, and that constant difference means I take any term and I just subtract the previous term and I get that constant difference. Okay, constant difference means it's an arithmetic sequence. Okay, next up we get a geometric sequence. So geometric sequence what is its identifier well in the geometric sequence we get consecutive terms in other words the next term by multiplying so this time instead of having a, of adding something every time I'm multiplying something every time which means I'll have a constant ratio so uh, quick examples like I've got two times uh, two four eight 16, da, 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 every time I'm multiplying with a 2. So my constant ratio is 2. Okay, and how do I get the constant ratio? For that, we use an R. The constant ratio is we take the second term and we divide the first term. 
okay or the tenth term divided by the ninth term as long as I take two consecutive terms and I divide it uh, the, the uh, bigger one from the smaller one or the last one from the previous one and then you'll find the constant ratio okay don't want to spend a lot of time on it we'll get back to that the final one uh, that we're also going to work with which is quite a fun one to work with is called the quadratic sequence and the quadratic sequence has got not a constant difference but a constant second difference constant second difference okay what that means okay what that means is if I look at the first difference so for example uh, one example is all the square numbers so 1 times 1 is 1 2 times 2 is 4 3 times 3 is 9 4 times 4 is 16 these are all the square numbers if I look at the difference between them you'll notice that it's not constant so for example if I look at the first difference uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 9 minus 4 is 5 16 minus 9 is 7 uh, 9 I see this is not constant but there is something very curious about them is they also make a sequence so what type of sequence does the first difference is called the first difference okay they form a arithmetic sequence they have a constant difference themselves so there's a 2 5 minus 3 is 2 7 minus 5 is 2 and this is a constant second difference okay and uh, this one is a little bit more complicated than um, than the previous ones okay but f so we don't have an uh, an identifier other than the second difference is constant and you'll understand what I mean later on when we actually discuss that so uh, with that in mind um, let's go and look at the last thing that we have and that is called the general term okay so the last thing we have is called the general term and the general term is a formula that we can use to calculate any any term in the sweet sequence so for example okay general term is some is some tn value okay is some formula um, containing n n representing the term number and if I want any term number I just substitute so for example for the arithmetic sequence that we had at the top there the arithmetic sequences general term is a plus n minus 1 D where this D is the constant difference a is the first term in the sequence okay the arithmetic sequence is this one the geometric sequence also has the first term times multiplied by the constant ratio to the power of n minus 1 so here we can see this is the general term for the geometric sequence so this is arithmetic sequence geometric sequence and finally we have the quadratic sequence a n squared plus b n, b n plus c this is the quadratic sequence and in this one what you'll notice is a, uh, the square this quadratic format okay so do you notice that each one of them has an n okay there's an n n n n represents a term number so if I wanted term 20 I would substitute n with a 20 and uh, these called parameters they called parameters we'll know them and we'll just be able to solve it once we have the parameters and we want to say find term 20 that's kind of just a basic introduction I hope you um, you got the gist of what I was trying to say and we'll see you in the next video